Hey, what up fellas? Check it out. Today we've got some big old blue crabs and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to put in the whole blue crab on a hook. Been catching a ton of reds and black drum, but they've all been keeper sized, which is good. But I think we put a whole one of these guys might get a giant. Look at that man. He's still alive. He will get you. He'll get you. But right now he's going back in the bait bucket. Check it out. We got Tons of rods, as usual. We even brought out some of these surf rods on the micro boat. And the plan is we're gonna take the boat out to a spot and we're gonna park up on land and cast out. Kind of like we're fishing for some alligator gar. We are fishing for some big fish, but not gar. What do you think, fellas? You think the crabs are gonna do it for us? Whole blue crab on one hook. Oh, that was deeper than I thought it was gonna be. But we're at the spot. Oh. All right, all right. We made it to land. Now it's just time to get some rods out. The plan is we're gonna be using this boat. It has tons of rod holders on it, so we can just put all the rods in there. The reason I wanna fish from land instead of uh, from the boat is we can walk down these shorelines and cast it in different directions, spread out, spread out the baits a little bit, especially if we're gonna have some big baits out there, these guys don't cast too great, so it'll be a little bit better to be able to walk and then cast them. I just realized too, I've got a broken rod. I don't even know why I have this rigged up, but I just grabbed it and we went with it. It'll still work though. It, it should still work. And this one might be the one to get hit too. Still pretty early in the day. Usually the big beasts come out a little bit closer towards the sunset. So we're gonna put out a smaller rod, smaller hook with a piece of shrimp on there just to see if there's any anything out here. Oh wow, this is frozen. Hmm. Chum. Chumming it up. Successfully chummed. <laughs> That's like the newbiest way you could ever put a piece of shrimp on a hook. But it is frozen, so gotta work with what we got. Hmm. I think I think we might be getting bites on the one small rod we put out with shrimp. Let's see if anything's on there. Oh my god, there is something on here. Oh my gosh, this drag is so tight. I don't even know if this drag works. It's been a while since I used it. I'm gonna tell you, tell you something. This is exactly why we brought some big old crabs. The shrimp will definitely catch them. It's a freaking stingray, boys. Dang it. Well, hopefully a stingray can't eat the whole crab, but I was gonna say, we have the whole crab because there's fish of all sizes. And we will kind of want to avoid the little ones and stingrays. We'll, we'll avoid the stingrays if possible. Hmm. Look at him, man. Dude. You think? Look at his claspers. Because his claspers are all uh, kind of like bloody. Maybe he has been mating. Let's see if we can make him stab this. Oh, he's trying to stab it. Oh, he stabbed it, dude. Look at that shot. Okay, this is kind of what I wanted to see. If they do multiple strikes. And it looks like they will. That's the first time I've ever seen something getting stabbed by a stingray. I stepped on a stingray. I stepped on it for about five seconds and it stabbed me multiple times right here in the back of the boot. Luckily, the boot saved me. Okay, here's, here's how you handle these suckers. Get them upside down. And then once it's, woo! Once his tail is under control, then you got him where you want. All right, Chief. Get out of here, Chief. Other way, other way, other way. Don't st just hang out right where I let you go, bud. Get out of here. No one wants you here. <laughs> He's not very smart, is he? He's like, I just got caught. I'm just gonna hang out right here. All you can do is rig up another bait and get it out there. Or we could switch spots if it's the stingray hole right here. But you know what, we do need to get our do need to get our crab going too. All right, two little rods out there with shrimps. All right, we're gonna get some of this crab out here. We got a pretty generously sized hook right there. Nice little circle hook. And then we got our whole crab right there. I did remove the little horns right there because we are gonna be hooking it right through these legs. If those horns are sticking out, it might, you know what, it might make the fish spit it out. So we do not want that. I'm gonna go right in there through the back leg. 
and then bang, right out like that. That is looking pretty juicy and it's gonna have to be a pretty big fish if it wants to get that. All right, now we just walk it down and cast it out over here. I'm prepared to stay here for quite a while. I've got some, some night and <laughs> some night lights just in case we wanna stay for the big guys to come out. I'm pretty sure we're gonna do that because we got big baits. It's gonna attract the fish, but it may take them a while to get here. All right, let her fly. Let her fly, I think. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Actually didn't cast as bad as I thought, even with the broken rod tip. Exactly why we bought the surf rod and reel too, has a lot of line so we can walk it out and cast it. Not have to worry about line. Second crab rod going in, we got half of a crab right there. We are leaving that outside shell right here on. A lot of times I take it off. If you take it off, it does get eaten up by little bait fish even quicker. Either way, it's gonna get eaten up because this whole side is exposed for those little bait fish. But hopefully leaving that on will Leave some meat on there a little bit longer. Bingo bango, I don't wanna bingo bango. Well, we no, we no, well. Bingo bango bango, I don't bingo bango. So, bongo bongo bongo, I don't wanna leave the Congo. No, 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 no. Bingo bango bango, I'm so happy in the jungle, I refuse to go. Don't want no bright lights, false teeth, doorbells, landlords, I make it clear That no matter how they coax him, I'll stay right here I look through a magazine, the missionary's wife Alright, let's get him Better give me this freaking fish. Got a big question for you guys. Big, big question. You guys ever catch fish on the claws like this? The guy at the bait shop was telling me, oh man, these are such, such good baits. And he starts putting these little crab arms along with the crab I bought. Little did I know he was counting these for weight, unfortunately. I thought he was just giving them to me for free. If I had to choose, I would not, I would not be paying for these claws. So what do you think? Are they actually super good? I'm sure you can catch fish on them, but I'd prefer to use proper crab, you know? Not have to pay for broken arms. See, my man even loaded me up with these little things. Uh, that big claw, I'm sure, will work, but these don't have too much meat in them, you know what I mean? You know what we could also use? Nice little Herman crab. Nice little Herman crab. Just kidding, we won't use you. We'll let you go. A little bit afraid we got another stingray on the line right here. Should we check it? Or just let it ride. We'll check it. We'll check it. We'll check it. We'll check it. Very confusing. Or it might be a red. No, it's a fish. Yeah, it's a ray, boys. That's. I don't know. We'll check. We'll check. We're not gonna let him suction cup though. If it is, I kind of think it might be a red though, or drum, or stingray. Uh, what do we got? Ah, oh, frick. Frick. Is that safe? Is that safe? Safe way to handle a stingray? You can almost reach me. <laughs> let's not let's not play with fire, huh? Well, we knew they were out here. We knew they were out here. At least this guy's swimming away, hopefully. Man, nothing on the crab yet, man. Sunset. We do have sunset in about 20, 30 minutes. So that's right now is the time we should be getting bites and after sunset as well. The whole crab, dude. The whole crab is getting picked up. Look at this. There's a the whole crab. There's the whole crab. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. I was giving up hope. Oh my gosh. There's weight. I like it. Let's go, dude. I was giving up hope. Big time, dude. Dude. This is on the whole freaking crab. Oh my gosh. Dude, I swear. I just got up. Dude. I knew my camera was rolling. <laughs> I knew it was probably gonna run out of battery. I was gonna go change it. And I finally get the bite. I can't believe this dude on the whole freaking crab. Oh man, he's running straight that way, which is pretty, pretty bad for us. I'm not gonna lie. 
Oh, come this way, buddy. Okay. What are you guys guessing on this, man? Big old black drum or big old redfish? Shoot. Or stingray. I just thought of that. There's no way, though, right? Yeah, this guy's going the wrong way, man. Oh, man, I just want to see what we got. He hasn't made a big, big long run yet. He's got some weight to him. Now, nah, that's... Oh, there he goes a little bit. Oh, my gosh. There he goes. <laughs> he, he knows we're here now. It's definitely not a stingray, which is what I like. God, this feels like catching a big old fish at the surf, man. This is so cool. Oh my God, let's go. Oh my God, dude, it's a big drum. Look at that freaking face. No way, dude. This is what we, exactly what we were going for. No freaking way. Oh my God, dude. Look at that big fish. They get bigger than this. Well, just, I, every time I catch a giant one of these guys, the freaking head on these suckers, is insane. Come on, Coop, don't mess this up. Oh my God, what is this? What is this guy? Just the freaking head on this, and we got him. Look at that mouth, holy cow. We got lines everywhere. But look at this guy, oh, golly. That's a little bit of a freaking black drum there. Man, he's freaking heavy. Look at the mouth. Look at the freaking mouth on that guy. No way. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's kind of, that's kind of a big guy, dude. That's exactly what I wanted. I was doing everything to catch one of these guys. I don't believe we could get him, but we freaking got him. <laughs> Look at the head on that sucker. Oh my gosh, beautiful. I'm trying to give him a little bit. Revive, oh, after that long fight, and then we'll let him go. You know, usually it's only during winter I go for these big old guys. What well, is definitely, definitely one of the easiest times to catch them. But man, all right, you ready to go, fella? I think you're ready to go. Oop, there he goes. Man, that's that's crazy, man. Only. Not more than four feet deep out here, and those guys, those giant fish are just around us all the time. It's pretty crazy. I didn't have anything to measure them with, but uh, I did mark it on my rod, so I'll put, I'll put how big, how long he was right here. My PB is actually only 40. Man, that guy had a huge head. It was a freaking heavy fish. I'm not sure if it was 40 though. We're gonna look, we're gonna roll out there with the big old light, and we're gonna see if we can see any fish. Look at that guy. Had a whole whole nother crab out there. Man, I'm telling you, that's that's probably a perfect size crab for a whole crab. Man, that's such a big bait for some inshore fish, right? But those big guys, they will they will eat it up. I'm telling you, if you want to weed out some of those smaller slot reds, those slot drum, and you just want the big dogs, you might want to try some whole crab. Alright, let's see if there's anything we can see with the, the super bright flashlight. Bait, bait. Needlefish. Whoa, needlefish. Oh, there's a there, oh, the drum! Two drum! Or actually, there might have been reds. <laughs> In the meantime, we ran aground. <laughs> well, we did see two drum. That's, that's good enough. Hey, man, if you like the video, give the video a like. I love you guys very much. We'll see you guys next time. Whoosh. I don't want to set the world on. Fire. I just want to start a flame in your heart.